Now, every business comes to a point where they want to create systems that simplify and automate their client acquisition, where you as the expert are no longer chasing leads, following up every step of the way, where your business is no longer dependent upon your constant presence in order to get people from hold lead to ready to buy, where you realize that live launching is exhausting and mostly attracts unready buyers who have more time than money and where you realize that your only logical next steps seem to be that you have to build out a sales team to take on your role in the sales process to try and buy back your time automate your marketing process so you have ads running to a webinar or vsl but again you're still dealing with either a calendar full of calls with high no-show rates or having to spend hours on those calls just to try and get them to buy and listen i'm not saying that those things don't work they do and I think it's important to understand your goal so you can create the right system that supports that goal. So today we're going to talk about automating conversions and I'll show you how to turn cold leads into high paying clients while you sleep. Welcome to the Business Real Talk Podcast, where you'll learn straightforward and simple ways to scale your business, and we're keeping it real. I'm your host, Naza Javaria, an 18-year marketing expert and the founder of Next Level Up CEO and the Easy Yes Method. I'm also a wife, a mom of three, and a real talk strategist. On the Business Real Talk Podcast, we'll dive into how you can disrupt your industry, create a pipeline of premium clients, and how to scale your revenue without scaling your time. If you're ready to dive straight into how you can use my easy yes method, I want to invite you to check out my free mini series that breaks down how you can replace all of your sales and marketing efforts with just one Netflix inspired client acquisition system that turns cold leads into raving fans in seven days. Go check it out at easyesleads.com. I want you to leave this podcast with business strategies that are straightforward and timeless. So let's get real. Now, hey, hey, and welcome back to the Business Real Talk. Let's get real. Over the last two episodes, we've talked about how to actually develop and sustain demand in your business. And we went through the first two phases of demand in the last two episodes where we talked about the importance of desire-based marketing so that you're actually bringing in high intent and ready buyers. And then in the last episode, we talked about systemizing the sales conversation process so you can take those interested hands raised and move them to a yes. All the while, those first two phases are naturally allowing you to identify and validate demand angles, AKA what gets people interested so that you have the proven marketing message that will allow you to repeat your success at scale, where your marketing is doing what it's meant to do every time, consistently bringing in high value, high intent buyers and getting them moving through your buying process from day one. And validating your sales process, being able to individually support people to a decision. So now you have the exact information, questions, and hesitations they feel. So you can easily turn that around and proactively address them. So they go from DM to sold. And this whole time, I've been telling you that you have to have those two pieces first before you're ready to automate. Because guess what? Automating without having an established demand system that brings in those right leads and then uses that conversational approach to help move those leads to a yes means that really ultimately what we're doing is creating an expensive testing system. Trust me when I say this, the last thing you want to do is spend months building out an automated system only to spend even more time after it's done. Oh, and not to mention thousands, if not tens of thousands on ads or team to test the system just for you to need to go back to optimize it for a few more months. Sounds backwards when you hear it that way, right? So let's start there. Right now, we've been told that we either need to create an automated process that gets us as many calls as humanly possible on yours or your team's calendar. Simply put, you're focusing on the cheapest way to book calls or you're automating for consumption. You're building that mini course, that webinar or oodles of content thinking if you can just get them to consume, they will buy, right? But so much of what we talked about up until now has focused on that foundation of having a sales system that works, AKA the messaging and the positioning. These are really what's going to drive your ability to successfully get the right people in your world and take action. But automating is about replacing you as the system. So more of the right people can get there faster and without your constant presence. So here's the first question you need to be able to answer. Are you looking for people with more time or more money? 
This is an important distinction, and it's one that sets the tone for having the right system that is optimized for the right results. We know, because I've shared this with you many times before, that high intent leads are the gold standard. Well, high intent leads also value and respect their time as their most valued asset. So the typical options are systems that ask people to give up more time just to try and make a decision. So those weeks away webinars or three to five day challenges are only set up to bring in more people who are time rich and cash poor. So it's set up with the wrong goal in mind. So focusing on that calendar full of calls so your team can spend countless hours persuading them to buy or to become expert consumers so they spend months or years in your world just trying to decide if you're the right fit. Instead, I want you to shift your thinking. Our goal should have never been to fill our calendars or create consumers. Instead, it should be to accelerate the decision process. So that those high intent interested buyers who enter your world can make the fastest decision possible without being dependent on you or your team in order to get there, which means the intent changes. The intent of our automated sales system is to automate the decision process, to create fanatics and raving fans through your process. It's when we're able to do this that we go from us selling our leads to our leads selling themselves. So we are focused on automating indoctrination, automating the decision process, because sure, getting up that VSL or webinar or ads funnel that drives calls on your calendar may help in getting booked calls or increasing consumption from leads, but it's not optimized for automating their decision process. And that means that again, you're getting on calls with people who aren't ready to buy. You're filling your list and your calendar with people who have become addicted to consuming your content. Instead, when you create an automated decision system, your leads are able to sell themselves while you're sleeping so that Jane Doe in Italy could binge your way through your system at 2 a.m. while you're sleeping and you can wake up with a call on your calendar and a DM from Jane saying that she can't wait to work with you. That to me is freedom where you have a process that's no longer dependent on your or your team's constant presence. Client acquisition becomes effortless. So I want you to change the way you think of automating sales and conversions away from this transactional approach where you're chasing leads, chasing calls and chasing team and go from you selling your leads to your leads selling themselves. Having this beautiful decision system that serves up clients with exactly what they need whenever they enter your world so they can move towards that decision that they're so eager to make while you take your kids to the dentist, while you travel the world or you just take a midday nap. This is the power of having a decision system that prioritize a strategy where leads can and should sell themselves. This is where growth and scaling takes on a whole new meaning. So let's dig into the details on how the heck we build an automated decision system that gets leads to sell themselves. And it starts with looking at what actually drives decisions. Now, attention is a hot commodity and one that for years now, we've been constantly reminded is fleeting. It went from people having the attention span of a goldfish to now fighting tooth and nail for three seconds of someone's time just to try and win them over. It's totally exhausting. But the good news is, as the expert, you can move away from fighting in the trenches for highly coveted and ever-changing attention because attention isn't the outcome we want. Instead, we want people to become indoctrinated as quickly and as easily as possible so that you can go from someone needing to be in your world for months, if not years, to just finally be able to say, yes, you're who I need, to going from cold lead to hell yes in a matter of hours or days, okay? Imagine how business would look for you if that was your reality. If a stranger on the internet could enter your world on a Monday afternoon, never having heard of you, to signing up to work with you by Wednesday in your highest price program. How would life change if that was your reality? If you weren't in the game of chasing, chasing attention, chasing leads, and chasing your team. If people were able to make the decision to work with you in just hours or days. If that sounds like a dream, that's exactly what having an automated decision system is built to do. So the first step in the process is understanding that the goal is now to indoctrinate your leads as quickly as possible into your method. I call this the big dose of you because what do we do when we meet someone who sounds interesting? We try to figure them out, right? We read their content, we watch their video, we try to get to know them. Why? Naturally, because our brain is trying to categorize this person. It's trying to figure out is this person worth my time and energy? That first impression into your world sets the stage for how they will treat you and how quickly or slowly they will buy from you. So your goal 
is to give them a big dose of you, a way for them to come and see exactly what you're all about. And this is what will indoctrinate people into your world and your thinking, speeding up the process of going from stranger to client and setting them up to instantly decide if you are who they want to work with. And the best part is indoctrination allows you to step away from convincing because it's not focused on forcing them to buy. It's focused on providing them with the information that allows them to decide to buy from you, which means you say goodbye to no-shows who weren't interested in the first place. You say goodbye to calls with low-intent leads who need you to convince them that they want to solve their problem and that you are the right solution for them. You say goodbye to having an audience full of people who come in with zero intention to buy, only robbing you of your time and your energy, trying to pour into them, thinking that if you give them more, it will affect that decision. Because when you arm the right people with the right information, they're able to make a decision that feels really freaking good to them and quickly and easily, which means our decision system has to be able to do two things. Number one, allow people to instantly understand your innovative perspective. This is how we install belief in your method. Your innovative method is what sets the tone for them to see a new way of thinking that they've otherwise never known while also naturally removing their natural need to compare you to others, leaving them saying, wow, I've never thought of it this way. This is the key to being remembered. So when they walk away from your page, they still can't stop thinking about what you just said. Number two is naturally moving them through the decision process. Remember, high intent leads want to make a decision. Their brain is quite literally looking for the fastest path to that decision. And for years, sales funnels have focused on giving people more information because they lack the know-how of what actually is the right information that drives decisions because they haven't had that intent in mind. So we fill our feeds with content. We put out weekly masterclasses. We build out stacks of emails, all in hopes that with enough of the information, people will buy. But that's not how it works. It's not about more information, quite the opposite. It's about removing the barrier of decision fatigue that so many people are faced with. Processing through this constant feedback of, what to do, what not to do, and the FOMO of jumping into buying. Instead, we need to focus on a process that removes all of the information that's floating around in their mind, keeping them from buying, and instead give them the right information that installs a simple belief that makes everything click for them. When they feel like you turned on a flashlight in a dark room and everything started to make perfect sense. I tell my clients, you're in the business of clarity, not information. Clarity is what moves people to buy. And what is the best way to get people to move through your buying process while dealing them with a healthy dose of you and installing these beliefs that create massive clarity for them, allowing them to say yes within hours or days? It's to get them to binge their way to a decision. So let's get real. Binge watching, listening, or even reading sets off this insatiable desire in us. Why? Because it feeds our need for immediate gratification while reinforcing our values and beliefs. So when we turn on a show on Netflix, our brain fires as we get pulled into the show. Heck, last week, I casually sat on the couch on a Friday just to try and catch one episode of Nobody Wants This. I found myself glued to the TV for hours watching episode after episode. Within one night... I had binged my way through the entire season. I was hooked. I started to Google other shows they were both in, see when the next season is out, seeing if other people were as obsessed with the show as I was. The funny part was I had actually stumbled across the show and had zero expectations or intention to watch multiple episodes, nonetheless stay up till 2 a.m. binging the whole season. But I was hooked after one episode. And creating bingeability in our selling process is exactly what hooks our leads. They satisfy their excitement and hooking them into the next step so they can see what happens next. Within each minute, they are binging. They're becoming more engaged and bought in. They go from, let me check this out, to I can't stop watching, turning them in to raving fans. Subconsciously, you're moving them through the buying process. No hesitation, no pressure. Heck, they're just getting hooked onto your every word. That's why simply stringing together content alone isn't enough. I see that so often when people talk about bingeability, they're just creating more content saying, if I just put it all together, it makes it bingeable, right? No, 
There's a formula behind creating bingeability that specifically leads to decisions because remember, that is our goal. We're not just creating content for consumption. We're creating content that actually leads to a decision. So how the heck do we actually do this? How do we create a bingeable decision system that gets leads to sell themselves as they're binging their way through the buying process? There's a simple formula behind this and it's this, micro decisions plus intuitive resonance equals bingeability. So let's break it down. Now, when I spent that entire Friday night binging, nobody wants this. I wasn't asked to make a decision on whether they'd end up together in episode one. And I didn't have to know immediately if Noah and Joanne were even going to be good together. Yet, with each episode, I grew to know more and more and fall in love with the idea of them. Why? Because each episode was set up to give me enough information to make a small micro decision at the end of each episode. I didn't notice it was happening. It was so natural that by the time I got to episode number 10, I was quite literally standing on my feet waiting for Noah to chase after Joanne. This is the power of micro decisions. It's effortless and natural. You don't even realize it's happening. It's why people love to buy from myself and my clients because they decided it. They fell in love over the course of a few episodes or a week of content. But what they don't know is there was a method behind that that was built to create micro decisions. So by the end, they're feeling connected. They're feeling eager. They're feeling ready, standing on their feet saying, yes, I want this. There's no pressure from me or from them. It feels good. It feels natural. That is what I call micro decisions. And honestly, it happens in everything that we do, right? Whether you're creating a masterclass, whether you're creating content, whether you're speaking on stage, the goal is that by creating micro decisions, we're essentially getting them to buy in slowly and naturally. So by the end, it just all comes together. Think of it this way. Instead of trying to talk your husband into traveling to France when he really doesn't want to leave the country, you create seeds to that, right? You bring some croissants to him. You share about what's going on. Maybe there's some really exciting um, athletic event that he can attend, right? Like you start to see these small things rather than trying to put it all on him at one time and trying to convince him to go to France with you, right? That is exactly what micro decisions looks like. We set it up so that it's happening in a very organic and natural way. Once you've done that, once you understand micro decisions, then there's intuitive resonance, okay? The truth is when we can proactively address their needs, their desires in a way that's checking off the boxes in their brain, as I say, saying yes becomes an, the only logical solution. Why? Because it's intuitive. It's as if you read their mind. You understood their most innermost thoughts. You covered everything so that their brain didn't signal fear or hesitation. So it's as simple as deciding to order the chicken Caesar salad from their favorite restaurant. Intuitive resonance is about understanding the right information that their brain needs to make a decision so that you're not inundating them with more information, the stuff that they don't actually need, or leaving them hanging with so much hype that it, and these gaps in information that they're questioning whether or not it's the right fit. This is the power of bingeability, where your sales process drives decisions effortlessly. So let me give you an example. I have this amazing, incredible client, Jessica, okay? She was exhausted running live launches and VSLs. Those are the two things that she was doing. It seemed that she was only attracting more people with questions than intent. So on paper, it was working in the sense that she was making $50,000 a month, but behind the scenes, she was exhausted and frustrated. So together, we built her bingeable decision system. It took some time to optimize it, about 90 days. I like to be clear on that. But once we did, it was off to the races. Suddenly, she had people coming through the word works asking about her programs, people who had been on her list for months, if not years, who had gone through her bingeable decision system and were suddenly sold, which is super typical because it activates people who were missing that right information in order to make a buying decision. Remember I said the goal is that those people who typically need months or years to buy, we've now completely accelerated that process. We've cut down the time of the sales process because now we're giving them the right information. They don't have to wait around to try and find it. So next, she decided to shift her ads away from her VSLs and into her bingeable system. Now, to be totally honest, because this is something I feel like a lot of people don't understand, her VSLs were booking her and her team about 12 calls a week. But the reality was she was barely closing, maybe one, if she was super lucky, two, and they had a really high number of no-shows. I don't know about you, but that's a complete waste of mine or my team's time to be spending all this time 
booking these calls only to show up and sit in a Zoom room and get ghosted. It's frustrating. Yet that is the standard for when it comes to scaling your systems and scaling the way that we sign clients, especially in high ticket. Okay. So in 14 days, she had five calls booked on her calendar, which I want you to hear that because she went from 12 calls to five calls. So naturally, originally she was a little bit nervous. She's like, no, I only have five calls booked. I don't know what's going to happen here. But the super cool thing was she closed three of them. That is a huge increase in conversions. I want you to understand that. Imagine going from needing to book five, 10, 15 calls on your calendar um, a week, which is the standard. This is what we're taught, right? Is book as many calls on, on, as humanly possible on yours or your team's calendar. And then you're going to convert a small percentage of them versus imagine only having five calls booked on your calendar, closing three of them, seeing better results, not getting ghosted. Like she had zero people ghost her on those calls. The best part, she ended up firing her sales team, which she was dreading managing them in the first place. She didn't actually want a big team because it was exhausting having to constantly manage them, make sure they were on top of things, checking why it wasn't working. A lot of people don't tell you that when they talk about building a sales team. I personally done this and let me tell you, it is frustrating and exhausting because all you end up doing is instead of you doing the work, you're essentially constantly managing someone else to ensure that they do. And yes, you can set up systems that make that easier, but ultimately still, it's your job as leader to ensure that they have the right things and moving them through that, checking in, giving them the support. It's just as much work. So the coolest part was she was booking less calls, converting more, didn't need a team. And people were showing up to her calls, talking her ear off on how perfect she was for them and that they couldn't believe that they hadn't found her sooner. This is why I'm crazy about the EZS method because it completely flips the script on how we acquire and retain clients. Instead of you selling your leads, your leads are able to sell themselves. So let's break it down. The first step in the EZS method is it's about winning the market, right? It's not about competing for attention. It's about making competition irrelevant and creating that inbound demand where clients are chasing after you and happily paying without hesitation. We do this by developing what we call your innovative gap methodology. This is going to target your high intent buyers while showcasing your innovative approach is the only solution to high-end buyers. So quite literally, this is the only system in existence that actually tangibly helps you create and articulate your innovation. So whether you're like, Nas, I don't know if what I'm doing is innovative or I already know what I'm doing is innovative, both of those get solved because we will actually help you identify where the gaps in the market are, where the opportunities to innovate are and how you can do that and we'll help you articulate it. So the entire process builds a tangible way for you to be able to do it. So there's no guessing at it. So within 30 days, you can have a fully defined innovative methodology that revolutionizes your industry while positioning your expertise in a way that's unmistakable. This step alone allows my clients to often five to 10 X their prices and have clients who are lining up to work with them. It's when we have this, that then we're able to automate conversions and get leads to sell themselves using the Netflix effect. That's what we tackled here today, right? This is done using our bingeable decision systems, our innovative approach that focuses on accelerating the natural decision process without that pressure, without inundating your audience with more information. It's about the right information at the right time with the right system that gets your leads to say yes right now and making yes the only logical solution. This step is what turns those cold leads and lurkers into high paying clients within hours or days so you can focus on serving clients instead of convincing leads. Lastly is that you actually need a business that can be here for years and years to come. This is what we call the pure profit strategy. It's where we leverage proactive programming so that we're setting up your clients for world-class results at scale so that you can leverage your two best and most profitable client sources, retention and referrals. This is about actually delivering on the promises that we're making. Because guess what? You can be an expert marketer, but if you're not actually delivering on the promises that you're making, then you're not actually an expert in your arena. So we want to ensure that you're turning your happy clients into your most enthusiastic sales team. This is the power behind the EZS method. Like it is changing the game of how people build, grow, scale, and retain their business sustainably. So if you're ready, if you've been listening and you're like, Nas, I get it. I'm 100% in. I know this is what I need. I want to make sure that the easy ass method is what I, I'm ready for. If I have all the things that's necessary. I want to know what this looks like. I want to invite you to what we call our growth optimization call. I eat, sleep, and breathe what I teach. So there's no convincing. There's no pressure on my end. We're going to sit down. You and I will chat. We'll look at what your actual client acquisition right now looks like. I'll show you if I think the EZS method can be applied to your business. And if we believe it can be successful, then I'll share with you what that looks like to work together. No pressure. You actually can't even make a decision on the call if you wanted to. 
Okay. So if you're ready to do that, you can head on over to easyesleads.com forward slash call. If you're new, first of all, welcome. I'm so excited to have you here. Thanks for sticking around today. Make sure that you check out the entire series, which is the last two episodes as well, that breaks down the demand system that we discussed. But if you want to learn a little bit more about how the easiest method works, I have a free bingeable mini series that allows you to listen and hear what our three-step process looks like for being able to get leads to sell themselves using the Netflix effect. You can check it out right now on demand at easyesleads.com. But as always, I love and appreciate that you took the time to listen today. And if I could ask you one quick favor to just go and rate, subscribe, and share this podcast, it would mean the absolute world to me and allow us to be able to expand our movement to helping experts become the top of their game, get leads to sell themselves, and create a movement of their own. So until next time, here's to keeping it real. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode of the Business Real Talk podcast. If you're serious about accelerating your growth, doubling or tripling your revenue and going from the best kept secret to the only and incomparable solution in your industry, then be the first to listen to each episode by hitting subscribe and sharing with a friend. Be sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Next Level Up CEO to learn more about how you can declutter your marketing and leverage the easy yes method in your business to focus on results and create a truly scalable and sustainable business that does doesn't suck up all of your time. To get a sneak peek at my proprietary methodology that has allowed my clients to double or triple their revenue, go check out my free mini series that shows you exactly how you can replace all of your sales and marketing efforts with just one organic and evergreen client acquisition system that brings in premium clients on repeat. Go to easyyesleads.com to access the mini series now. And as always, stay tuned for next week's episode on the Business Real Talk. Until then, keep it real.